Hi there. Now, what I have here is six questions based around integrals of this type. Now, if you're unfamiliar with doing this, do go back and check out my earlier video tutorial where I showed you in detail how to do this type of integral. So as I say, this is just a summary exercise, six questions here that you might like to try. So I'll give you a moment as usual to pause the video and when you come back, either fast forward to check your answers against mine or I'll take you slowly through each of the worked solutions. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for this first one, it's based around f of x being e to the power x and g of x being sine x, where g dash x, the differential of sine x, is cosine x. So if you watched the earlier tutorial for this, I said to you that you integrate f of x and f of x is e of x. So if you integrate that, it's e of x. You replace the x though with what you nominated g of x to be, which was sine x here. So the answer is e to the power sine x, and then plus your constant of integration. In number two, this one, again, I notice that this is a product. I've got g of x, which is 5x to the power 4 minus 2. If I differentiate it, I will get 20x cubed, and that's at the front here. And we've got this to the power 1. So I've got f of x would be just simply x. So if I integrate that, I'm going to get a half x squared. So I replace the x with g of x, which was the 5x to the power 4 minus 2. And that will be squared. And then plus the constant of integration. With this next one, I can see that if I let g of x be the cosine of 7x, I've got f of x would have been all of this x, if you like, cubed. And I notice that the differential of cosine 7x, which I'm calling g of x, is minus 7 sine 7x. So I integrate what was f of x, that would be x cubed, and that will give me a quarter x to the power 4. So that's a quarter. In place of x, I write in what g of x was, which was the cosine of 7x. So I've got cosine of 7x, and that's all to the power 4, although it's good to just write it as the 4 there, cos to the 4 of 7x, and plus the constant of integration c. With number 4, here I've got g of x as being 2 minus 5x. And I notice that if I differentiate g of x, I get minus 5, which is the constant here. And my f of x would be essentially x to the power 6. So integrating x to the power 6 is going to be 1 7th x to the power 7 but x is replaced with the g of x, so it's 2 minus 5x, all to the power 7, plus the constant of integration, c. All right. Now here's one that I hadn't given in my previous video as an example. What I notice here is that if I differentiate the tan of x, I get sex squared x. So if g of x is tan x, g dash x, the differential of it is sec squared x. And here I would have f of x as x to the power 4. So integrating x to the power 4 is going to give me one fifth of x to the power 5. Replace x though with g of x, which was tan x. Tan x all to the power 5. I'm going to write that though as the 5 there and then plus the constant of integration c. And with this last one, this is just to demonstrate the fraction idea. With this, I can change this to the integral of 2 times 3 plus 2x all to the power minus 4. 
and that's integrated with respect to x. And so integrating x to the power minus 4 is going to be minus 1 third x to the power minus 3. But remember, I replaced that x with 3 plus 2x. So what we've got here is 3 plus 2x, the g of x, if you like, to the power minus 3. And then plus the constant of integration c. Or you might prefer to write this answer as minus 1 all over 3 times 3 plus 2x, all cubed. OK? And so hopefully you're able to get those right. If not, at least being able to see how to do them. Now in the next video in this series, what I'm going to be looking at is extending this idea a bit further where we have a constant being multiplied by this particular form. So you need to make a few adjustments when it comes to integrals that involve that. So hopefully you'll take a look at that video.